the spirit of individuality. I spend my days working as a cook at a bar and grill right next to the highway. After three hours, I take a cigarette break and watch the birds flying this way and that way. Standing by the dumpsters near full, tiny black birds fill a mighty tall tree, cawing and tweeting away at a robust volume, their collective voice defying the powers that be. Along swoops a hawk with talons out, perches on a tree next to the feathered chorus. The hawk lets out a bombastic ca, silencing all, and a stare that states its disgust. Two Canadian geese flap by above, gaggle at each other innocently. The hawk silences them with a sharp ca, and then he throws a dirty look at me. I wasn't even talking, but I fell silent. This whole time the hawk ha has me clapped. In that gaze I saw unforgiving nature incarnate. The natural order will not be mocked. And then I saw a sight I swear is true. The hawk grinned down at me and huffed. I know it sounds impossible since hawks have beaks. The hawk just wanted us to know that it had had enough. And I feel blessed for having been there to see the hawk silence its community. Some days I wish I had the power to shut down the noise cawing about me. That desire for silence isn't anger or hostility. Temporary clarity and peace are natural wants. Sometimes you got to tell everybody to shut up. This world is a grave that the spirit of individuality haunts.